this is the PowerPoint that I'm going to use Friday in my presentation. And as you see it, it's talking about the creation of a climate change consciousness, because as far as I have learned in my work and my research, that's exactly what's needed in the inner city. We don't need organizations that are providing people with a, uh, an environmental program that, 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 that goes on as long as they have money from some grant that they got. And when the grant's gone, the program's gone and they leave the people out there hung up without nothing to do. Or the other thing is you're dealing with a, po a population that's constantly on the move. So you'll have a person here that's investing itself into you this month and next month you'll have another person you have to start all over so what it has done to the 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 fiber of the the inner city has caused people to just say forget you that's why we don't even have recycling in this country in the low income population because no one is really taking the time to talk to people to say this is why we need to recycle and then when they do a program let's say they do a garden they think the way they get your attention is to go out there and make you think hey this is cool you can raise food and make money. That's what they're doing with my people. The reason that you should be raising food is because you can make money. When the reality is the reason people should be growing and eating good food is for their health. Okay? Because as soon as that person that you're telling that grows this food and can't make no money, guess what they're going to do? They're done. But if it's about health, that's not only benefiting the person that you're working with, that's benefiting their family. That's making them be conscientious about what's going on with their future children and going down the line. That's the consciousness that I'm talking about. So what I'm getting ready to do, I blew my five minutes. I, my, that, that's to you though. But I'm getting ready to start. I'm sitting down and I'm coming up to the class and I'm going, okay. Uh, I'm in the process of, of using a, a creating the climate change consciousness as a way to be able to reach people, to empower them in the seeing how they can become individually responsible for themselves and their families. The way I started is I tell them how I got started. And I tell them about how Kansas City, Kansas had a uh, 144 neighborhood groups. And those neighborhood group leaders would meet once a month. And anytime you had something that you wanted to show them that you would like to be able to come to their individual neighborhood group meetings, you would go in. That's what I'm doing in the top two photos. I got this light that's made out of a little LED, a little light you could use. I got one sitting at my desk right now. And I was showing this light and I'm telling them about the, 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 the program we were operating with and I hooked up with the Kansas Sierra Club was how to conserve you energy how to cut down on your monthly utility bills. And I would come by and talk to your people about the things you can do yourself in your house to make it happen. That bottom left picture is me talking to a neighborhood group. They didn't have the police officer there to watch me. He's all, they also go out neighborhood policing. That's why he was there. I didn't want anybody to think that whenever I showed up at the meetings, they made sure they had a police officer there to keep me in check or something. But no, that was me and my Sierra Club, buddy. We went in and I would do a presentation on all the various things they had, low hanging fruit, of uh, things you could do yourself to make sure that you were able to conserve on your bill. Over on the right hand side, I would also go to various events going on in town. That is the annual night out against crime. I would get a table and set up and I'd load my table up with all kind of environmental stuff from caulking guns, everything you could possibly use to show people how you could do that stuff in their home. So what I did is decided to take what I had done and expose it to a college student, inner city college of for immigrants and low income minorities. And so we, I wanted them to learn what's called community engagement. I don't have them doing this because they can make money. This is not even their homes, even though they're learning something that they can truly be able to use in their homes. This is at a public housing 
senior citizen high rise. Now I had these booths, had these eight raised bed gardens put in there, and I worked with a an organization called KC community gardens. I don't do, I wouldn't do it without a bona fide group of people that didn't understand this business. And that's what's going on here. We have the girls that showed up, they're getting ready to plant some uh, some potatoes. Uh, uh, my guy from community garden comes over and explain to them how it's supposed to be done. That picture there in the middle, that's where they got the things planted. But the reason I use this activity was to create a teamwork, a team spirit with that class. Yeah. Yes, they go to school together. Yes, they see each other five days a week. But this is doing something as a group. And that's really important when you're talking about creating something where you engage with other people. They need to see you as working as a group. That was the first one. The second one, which we just did this past week, dealt again with the Sierra Club and I of handing out uh, CFLs, uh, not CFL, but LEDs to the elderly. So the Sierra Club sponsors the program and they purchased the, the LEDs. I, I deliver them over to the college. A uh, picture at the bottom left uh, is me teaching a class of students and telling them about my perspective and what we do. That's the, uh, uh, the, the one of the other instructors there in the middle over on the right hand side. You may miss it because of our pictures blocking it, but that's the other professor talking to the students in the class because they're getting ready to go downstairs and that one on the right hand side it was raining so we couldn't get outside we set up a table inside the lobby of the college and they are there talking to folks that's coming by about the lights getting engaged taking it on to the next step because the next step for them will be to go into the neighborhoods and then i show them these pictures of me going into the neighborhoods. And as you see the lady up on the top, she's just elated to be able to get those lights on her house. We love this picture at the bottom. That's a 80 uh, some year old lady that's up on the ladder. And that's her 90 some year old husband that's handing her the fixtures to go, the light that's outside. So we consider that a classic. And on this other side is a 90 some year old lady that we had put a bulb on her house. So now when she comes home at night, you know, she's got a su 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 sufficient amount of lighting at the house. So this is what I would use with the students for my creating a climate change consciousness.